The Gigafactory grand opening caps the week, and I'm staying up late to cover it for you. Thankfully, Elon was punctual, dead on time even, and I'll be getting to bed at a nearly decent hour. Sending you to your weekend with your Tesla tidbits for July 29th, 2016. The only thing disappointing about Elon's remarks at the Gigafactory grand opening was YouTube being inexplicably able to keep a stream up. Video and sound sync was off completely, and video was oddly at double speed the whole time. I'm reasonably sure this was not my connection, and as at several points it said that the streamer had stopped streaming, and I could see the number of people watching decline during that time, so I may have missed some important things. Anyhow, on to the information I could actually get from the awful connection. First up was Elon hammering home the importance of the design of the factory and driving down the cost of the product. Next, we had Gigafactory 2 and Ford being announced as the batteries and cars coming from the same factory. And I think we kind of had an idea of this with, uh, with something else that was announced earlier in the week that's failing me at the moment. Third, we had the footprint of Gigafactory 1 can hold 50 billion hamsters. No joke, that was in the presentation, and that wasn't my... Bad connection uh, giving me the influence of saying that. They literally had a PowerPoint slide. In 2018, they expect to supply 500,000 vehicles with batteries, and then at 2020, when the factory is at full capacity, the Gigafactory is expected to supply batteries for up to 1.5 million cars. They also confirm battery pack recycling at the factory, and that it's a self-sustaining factory eventually, with geothermal pro providing climate control, wind and solar for power generation, completely handling those power needs for the Gigafactory when it's all complete. Uh, they also spoke to lithium scarcity, said that lithium, Elon said that, quote, lithium is the third most plentiful element on Earth, end quote. In addition, lithium is actually only 2% of the composition of the battery. Uh, J.B. Straubel then jumped in and said, and alluded to the people saying that the lithium will run out, saying that peak lithium is nonsense. Once you have it, you keep reusing it and reprocessing it forever. Elon also confirmed that the compact SUV is the next vehicle for Tesla, and then alluded to something you'll hear in our final story about the Tesla bus. And then lastly, when asked by the audience how they could help further the mission, Elon said the revolution will come from the people, that the fossil fuel interests and the... Uh, the traditional automakers of the world have thousands of times more money than, than Tesla does. The way to help is simply to dispel the propaganda. While we're on the subject of the Gigafactory, why wouldn't we be today? Electric reported that Panasonic is set to invest significant funds into the Gigafactory. After its earnings call today, it announced that it would raise nearly four billion U.S. dollars via corporate bonds and that most of that money would be put toward investment in the Gigafactory. This follows through on a statement earlier this year after confirming a $1.6 billion investment, saying that after being encouraged by the demand for Model 3, they were ready to move up their investment schedule if asked by Tesla. I guess they did. Good signs all around for Tesla, Panasonic, and Model 3 production. One final note related to the Master Plan Part 2. It seems that Jalopnik, in an article calling out VW for not releasing a retro VW bus already, hit on a detail of, of the develop, of the in-development, easy for me to say, Tesla bus. Elon tweeted today, quote, Some good guessing by at Jalopnik. The Tesla minibus will be built on a Model X chassis. People density potential is surprisingly high, end quote. Makes a lot of sense to reuse the Model X framework if the use fits, driving down production cost and complexity utilizing known quantities. Check out the show description for links to the full stories from the show. If you find value in the show, please consider supporting the podcast at patreon.com slash Tidbits. All support goes directly to my Model 3 fund. Thanks so much to my super patron John Waltower for his support. His pledge of $10 or more each month continues to get him a shout out each episode. If you have nothing extra to kick my way, though, it's not a problem. You can still show your support with positive reviews, likes, and subscriptions on your favorite media services and by spreading word of the show to other Tesla lovers. If you have questions or feedback for me, you can reach me at email by messaging podcast at teslatidbits.com or on Twitter at teslatidbits. That's it for today. See you back here next week. Until then, keep it charged and hit the road.